A century has passed since the Fire Nation declared war on the other three nations of air, water, and earth in their attempt to conquer the world. Sokka and his younger sister Katara, who live in the Southern Water Tribe, discover an unusual iceberg. Breaking into the iceberg releases a beam of light and reveals a 12-year-old boy named Ong and his pet flying bison a path. Zuko, the disgraced prince of the Fire Nation, detects the light from On's release and arrives at the Southern Water Tribe to demand the villagers hand over the Avatar, the only person capable of manipulating, or bending, all four elements of air, water, earth, and fire. On surrenders himself to save the village, but escapes the Fire Nation ship and flies to a path brought by Katara and Sokka. The trio travel to Ong's homeland at the Southern Air Temple, where Ong himself learns he was in the iceberg for a century and that the Fire Nation wiped out the other air nomads, including his guardian monk Jiatso. In despair, Ong enters the Avatar state and finds himself in the spirit world where he encounters a dragon spirit. Katara's pleas bring Ong out of the Avatar state. The group arrive at an Earth Kingdom village controlled by the Fire Nation. When they are arrested and imprisoned, they incite a rebellion, battling and defeating the Fire Nation soldiers occupying the village. Ong tells Katara and Sokka that he only knows airbending and has yet to master the other three elements. They make their way to the Northern Water Tribe where Ong can learn from waterbending masters. During a side trip to the Northern Air Temple, Ong is betrayed by a peasant and captured by Fire Nation archers led by Commander Zhao. However, a masked marauder called the Blue Spirit helps Ong escape. Zhao realizes that Zuko is the Blue Spirit and has a crossbowman fire a bolt that knocks Zuko out, but Ong uses his skills to escape with the unconscious Zuko. Ong watches over Zuko until morning, then leads to reunite with Sokka and Katara. Zhao tries again to kill Zuko by blowing up his ship, but Zuko secretly survives and sneaks aboard Zhao's ship. Upon arriving, Ong and company are welcomed by the citizens of the Northern Water Tribe, and waterbending master Paku teaches Ong and Katara. The Fire Nation arrives and Zhao begins his attack while Zuko continues his independent search for the Avatar. After defeating Katara in battle, Zuko captures Ong who re-enters the Avatar state to search for the Dragon Spirit for help to defeat the Fire Nation. The Dragon Spirit advises him to use the ocean and show the power of water. Returning to his body, Ong battles Zuko until Katara freezes Zuko in ice, then leaves to join the battle. Zuko's uncle Iro and Zhao make their way to a sacred cave where Zhao captures the moon spirit. Despite Iro's pleas, Zhao kills the moon spirit to strip all the waterbenders of their abilities. Enraged by Zhao's sacrilege, Iro reveals his mastery of firebending, frightening Zhao and his entourage out of the sacred cave. Princess Yu gives her life to revive the moon spirit. Zhao finds out Zuko survived, and they prepare to fight, but Iro talks Zuko out of it, and Zhao is drowned by waterbenders. Recalling his life before being trapped in the ice, Ong enters the Avatar state and raises the ocean into a gigantic wall to drive the Fire Nation back.